How's everybody doing? Today's project is uh, I'm going to uh, make a DIY uh, blade, uh, lawnmower blade balancer. Okay, I've used all sorts of different uh, methods. I have this little TP cup thing uh, that works okay uh, as long as you're on a nice flat surface and uh, you have a blade that has a circular opening. You could just fit it on there. And it works okay. It doesn't work so well with uh, the blades that have the uh, bow tie or the star pattern. I find I have used the uh, just a, it's a different version of the nail in the wood. Is just a, a flat punch here in my vise, and uh, I bal balance blades this way before. But again, I find that they're not overly accurate and uh, subject to you know lots of errors I didn't want to go ahead and spend at this point yet uh, the 200 plus dollars to get a um, I think it's called a Mac 1000 or mag 1000 uh, it's supposed to be the cat's meow as far as blade balancing goes but uh, I did see a video uh, from a guy who has a YouTube channel. His name's Double Wide Six. Uh, great channel. Go check his channel out. Uh, he made his own version of that Mag uh, 1000 or 900, whatever it is, and uh, it looked pretty interesting. Uh, it was made of wood, and it uh, looked like it worked pretty well. So I was trying to come up with my own little version of that. So I actually found this, which is a whole bunch of these. Uh, router bit bearings to have a 3 16 inch inside diameter all the way down and it goes I think from I don't know what that is uh, 3 8 maybe the smallest size up to an inch and an eighth I'm gonna post a uh, picture of it uh, right now and um, this is just off of Amazon and um, I'm gonna go ahead and take this and uh, go ahead and make a bit of a permanent version. I could probably get away with just putting this in the vise as well, but I'm not gonna do that because uh, it, when I'm balancing a blade in the vise, or sorry, sharpening a blade in the vise, I don't wanna take the blade out, then put this in and then put the blade back on and make the adjustments. So I'd like to have it separate. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and mount it in this piece of two by three, probably just like this. And then stick that, I'm gonna cut this two by three, stick that in my wall here and just have a, a blade balancer like that. So I thought I'd uh, make a little project out of this and then um, show you guys the, uh, the video as I go along. So first thing I'm going to do guys is just uh, using my chop saw here, just I'm going to chop off a little piece of wood. I don't need that much actually to mount that. So I got my piece of wood here. Now I'm gonna take it over to my drill press and drill a hole to fit that in, the, uh, the bearings in. All right, so to find the outside diameter, I guess I could use a caliper or whatever. I don't have one of those. What I, I do have though is a drill bit set that has these holes that the drills fit in. And as you can see, this guy fits in the quarter inch slot pretty good so what I'm going to do is take the one size smaller which is the 730 seconds uh, and I'm going to go ahead and drill a hole into my wood uh, slightly smaller that's a 30 seconds smaller and uh, go ahead and mount this guy right in there uh, before I do that I probably will also pre-drill two holes so that I can mount this into the stud that should be right there. All 
Okay guys, I got you up here where my drill press is. Uh, I'm just gonna pre-drill those two holes. I think I got a, a 1 8 inch bit here. These are for the mounting holes. Alright, so I just pre-drilled a couple holes there. For mounting it up on the wall, switch up my drill bit here now to the 764. Ready to go. No particular place. Somewhere, somewhere in the center. Alright guys, I got you back up on my bench here. Uh, what I'm going to do is, holding all these on, there's just a little tiny um, screw on there, and then the bearings come off of the shaft. So I'm going to do that, just so I can stick the shaft into this hole. Now, obviously I don't want to damage it at all. I'll use a rubber mallet at first to see how that goes. Alright, so it is going in. What I'm going to do is uh, continue on with this and then I'll come back when I got it all the way in. Alright guys, so I got it in almost all the way I wanted to leave a little bit up here in case I got to grab this and take this out for whatever reason now before probably before I put all these bearings back on no I could reach I could get in there so I could put all these bearings back on now Alright, so I got all the bearings back on. It spin pretty good here. Now the last thing would be just to mount it. So I think I'm just going to mount it up like this. And then we should be done. And we're uh, ready to test it out. Alright guys, so I got it all mounted up here looks pretty good big test is going to be to see if it works so what I'm going to do is uh, get a blade that I know is out of balance first and see what we can do with it and see how this indicates if it's out of balance or not all right guys so let's go ahead and test a couple blades here um, first of all we're going to try a blade circle hole I don't know three eighths maybe maybe Something. Yeah, probably three eighths. And uh, this blade, I know for a fact, is not in balance. So I'm going to put it up here. There you go. As you can see, there you go. As you can see, instantaneously, this thing goes out of whack. Right? If I try to flip it the other way, it should go the other way. Right? There you go. So this would be the heavy end. Alright, so let's try one of these kind of goofy bow tie blades. Fits on one of those pretty good. And there you go. This side's heavier. Look at all the crud, crud on there. I would imagine that's probably part of the reason. Let's try one of these uh, star blades. Okay, there you go. Heavy side. Here's uh, another more common bow type 
blade. These will be very difficult to balance on one of those teepee style cheapo blade balancers. And there you go. Heavy sad. Let's take a look at this one. This one is off of uh, Lawn Boy. Now, if I try to put it I put it on here and you can see it stays wherever I put it. That tells me this blade is actually a balanced blade. So I really like how this turned out guys. Uh, for less than $20 and maybe, I don't know, I'm going to say 5 minutes, 10 minutes at most of my time, I got myself a nice uh, blade balancer. I'll put a uh, link down in the sub, uh, description as to where you can uh, pick up this set. I just again got mine at, on Amazon Canada, Amazon.ca. It does come with a bunch of these extra uh, little screws here and even a little Allen wrench, which I won't use in this application. But uh, once again, guys, really happy with how this turned out. So guys, uh, if you uh, enjoyed the content, go ahead and uh, click the subscribe button. I have uh, many other how-to videos uh, on my channel and uh, that'll help me out and until next time take care